have no time to lose. Government men are up front, Mr. Cadian. No morning, Broski. Tell Captain Stark to stand by. To leave at once. Here is Randolph's formula for nickelanium. Uh, my government appreciates your efficiency. Worthwhile for us to contact Death Valley Johnny if the spider's plans involve him. Right, let's go. Come on, you. It is most important that we find this secret mine before the old prospector reveals its location. Everything is in readiness. We will be the only ones to learn the secret of the man who calls himself Death Valley Johnny. Do you have a gentleman registered here by the name of uh, Death Valley Johnny? I should say we have. He's right over there in the midst of all those reporters. You can't miss him. How about another picture? Sure. Wait, I gotta have a cigar. <laughs> sure you got enough? Oh, I got a dozen. I ought to be able to get one. <laughs> Wait a minute, boys. Will you have a cigar? Oh, I said, will we have a Johnny? cigar? You're a great guy, Johnny. Will I give you the headlines or will I give you the headlines? It's all right. Hello, boys. Hey, don't forget to print the best one. Oh, yeah. Hello, boys. Have a cigar. No, thanks. I don't use them. You? No, thanks. I smoke a cigarette. Oh, cigarettes, eh? <laughs> well, sit down and let's have a powwow. Well, we don't mind if we do. <laughs> don't mind if I smoke. Oh, go right ahead. Help yourself. Oh, all right. Uh, what newspaper are you boys from? We're not from any newspaper. I'm Dick Tracy, Federal Bureau of Investigation. This is my assistant, Steve Lockwood. Well, what brings you here calling on me? We're here in your interest. We have reason to believe a certain criminal ring may cause you trouble. Well, I'm a lazy horn toad. If some yellow coyote ain't trying to get his greasy paws on my specimen gold, eh? A whole pack of coyotes. Yeah. Listen here, young men. I've guarded the whereabouts of that mine for nigh on to 20 years. And no hombre's going to get it away from me. Besides, <laughs> the gold won't be mine after 10 o'clock tonight. <laughs> I'm selling out. Does anyone besides yourself know where the gold is? <laughs> no, sir. I kept the secret of that mine in my head. And I ain't going to open my yap until those jewelers sign on the dotted line. Jewelers? Yes. I'm selling out to a big firm of New York jewelers. <laughs> and, uh, it's a good stiff figure, too. <laughs> it's been a pleasure meeting you, sir. I hope your deal turns out as you expect. If I can help you in any way, let me know. Well, ain't never needed a G-man yet, but you never can tell. <laughs> Goodbye, boys. Glad I've met up with you. Goodbye. So long. So long.
five minutes past ten. I see no reason for this delay. I'm always punctual in my appointments. Oh, will you stop that confounded tapping? Oh, I'm sorry. What can be keeping that lawyer? Mark said he'd have him here by 10 o'clock sharp. Come in. Nolan is my name. Mr. Clark sent me to render my legal services on his behalf. Mr. Nolan, Mr. James, Mr. Noble, Mr. Wickman. Gentlemen. And Mr. Death Valley Johnny. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. Take a chair and we'll get to business immediately. The meeting will come to order. Gentlemen, as per our agreement, we have deposited $500,000 to the credit of uh, Mr. Johnny to be held in escrow pending the time that he shall turn over all properties referred to in this agreement. Right? <laughs> oh, shucks. If you say so, it's right. Sign right here. Yeah, sure. It... Say, you sure this is right and in order? Absolutely, sir, provided you can produce the specimen gold. Oh, I can do that all right. Now, sir, I suppose you won't mind disclosing the whereabouts of your hidden mine. I suppose the specimen gold is kept there. Yep. I'll draw you a map. Here you are. All right, thank you. Ain't no trick in finding it once you get on the right track. There. That ought to be plain and simple, like. Right? That will be fine. Mr. Nolan, I'd like to see that map, if you don't mind. I must say your actions are most peculiar. I'll so come, sir. Sorry. Give us that paper. <laughs> Are you calling a doctor? No, I'm calling the police. Never mind the police. Call Dick Tracy. I want Dick Tracy. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, I'll bring you. Oh, I'll bring you. Give me Dick Tracy. Oh, yes, Dick Tracy. Poor old timer. He's putting up a great fight, but there's not much hope. We'll know better after the anesthetic wears off. Let me have his clothes, will you, doctor? There might be some clue in them which will prove of value to me. Of course. Nurse, will you have his clothes bundled up for Mr. Tracy? Oh, certainly, Doctor. I'm hunting for those yellow coyotes, Johnny. Reddish brown. It's copper quartz, all right. Now, Gwen, let's see another. Check copper quartz specifications found in the geological atlas. Find out what locations this type of quartz can be found in. Right. Do you think we're getting anywhere, Dick? We're taking the chance that Death Valley Johnny wore the same boots here as he wore around his secret mine. If such is the case, and if the specimen of copper isn't too common, we may get a direct lead to the place in time to stop the spider ring from accomplishing its purpose. Now, here it is, California. Thunderhead Mountains in Death Valley. Only mine. The old acre mine. Produced 100,000 tons annually. The stuff's rare. Where is the mine, Steve? It's located near Coyote Wells. The mine shut down in 1905 when the town was deserted. Coast town, eh? Steve, we're going there tonight. Gwen, phone the airport. Tell them to have my plane ready. Good luck, Dick. Thanks. Dick, never. I think they can put one over on me, do they? Hey, doctor! Nurse! Here, here, hey, sir. You're a sick man. Hey, where... Hey, Doug, Doug... Listen, I'm not sick. The way you folks act, you think I've never been shot before. Well, it's my clothes. He hasn't any fever. No, it's... it's what do you hold my hand for? Oh, it's regular. 
Certainly it's regular. Say, I want to see Dick Tracy. And you get him for me quick. All right, nurse. Call Dick Tracy. Yes, doctor. And listen, young lady. You tell him to make this hospital give me back my pants. There's something in them I want. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I will. Yeah, and don't you tell no, me no, I'm sir, sick. Don't, don't I know, just but I'm, there's right. nothing the matter with All me. All right. I'll be right over. Yes, I'll bring his clothes. Mike, will you get the car? We're driving right over to the hospital. You get right back to bed, young man. Yes, ma'am. I guess you can go. Let me carry the clothes. Looking place, is it? Looks dead enough, but you never can tell. Let's close in on it. Right. They may have heard our plane land. Let's separate in case of an ambush. All right, Dick. of them pants, Sonny, and give me what you find. Mr. Tracy has already left to go to your mine, so I came in his place. Huh? How did you know where my mine was? We were able to trace the location by the quartz particles still sticking to your boots. Well, I'll be doggoned. He should never have gone out there without first talking to me. Now, there's something awful dangerous in that mine if you don't know just where it is. That's it, Sonny. Give it to me. <laughs> but tell me, what is there in the mine that's so dangerous? Oh. You better ring for the nurse. Mm. Mike, we'll have to drive like mad to Death Valley to prevent Dick from going into that mine. Oh. What's the matter? Well, I think your patient has fainted. Well, you better wait outside. I'll see what I can do for him. you guys snap into it. The spider will be here any minute. Hurry it up.
crying back of the bar. Some guy creased me with a bullet last night. I haven't seen Dick since. Oh, we must find him. There's something in the mine he doesn't know about. I'll say there is. Yes. 